powder. <laughs> well, luckily, a barn materialized as it right before my eyes. Yeah. I scrambled up top yeah. to get a better view. It's like David. Jo what? Climbing up a tree, seriously? But oh. just ended up falling inside. So, how did you get out? The barn doors was open. About right then, I saw some suspicious characters running through the bushes. Of course, I followed them. Find your way through the swamps. I've been trying to find my way through the like swamps. like a goddamn maze, and pretty soon I had no goddamn idea where I was. Okay. Steve? So, I just started walking, and pretty soon I... I'm really lost. Who's snoring? It's rude. <laughs> Steve. Steve. Uh, huh? Oh, uh, no, 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 I'm listening. Of course you are. Indians surrounded me from all sides. What? What the hell? Indians? No. I just wanted to make sure Steve was paying attention. Now, where was I? You were following the Daltons through a swamp? That's right. See, Steve? Dwight's paying attention. No, oh, I'm listening. I, I, I was just uh, resting of course my you eyes. Were. So, where was I? The Daltons. Right. See, there's a reason so many outlaw gangs are made up of brothers. Being a brother is a very sacred thing. It's a bond Stop like no other. So did you ever find the damn Daltons? Not yet. But I did find a few of their cousins. Who Kansans breed like rabbits. Or Smiths or Heimhoffers or who knows I'm what. Ready. But hell, what's more important than family? How Ben Ben knows what I'm talking about. Am I out of range? I'm out of range. I'm on roof. Pretty low on bullets, actually, now. Oh, Jesus. Where do I get the damn Dalton? Thought it was the right time for it. There we go. Shoot, I dare you. Oh, dang it. So they've actually got metal metal shields now. Nice. That was a pretty sweet attack. You shoot me now. Oh, you? Throws you off completely sometimes. Jesus. What's that? Shotgun. Uh, I would use. I would use the shotgun. Oh, shit. Yeah, no. I do need the shotgun. However, there is a I'm getting just absolutely hammered down here. I don't know what is shooting me. Use the rifle to screw it.
Where is he? What the heck is shooting me? I couldn't see him. Oh, I'm sorry. See him There's another dude that somewhere like that. I know he's somewhere over there. The arrow is telling me he is. And that doesn't exactly help things, so I've fallen down a hole. This is where I find him, he's like on the cliffside and above my head. But I think he's like... Oh, he's over there? What the heck did he shoot me from over there? Oh, it wasn't him. Someone else. That's it for you. Even that's pretty far away. I don't know. A nugget in here? Nope. Oh shit. I'm gonna get too. Those out there, so no shotgunners. Standing together against anyone who would threaten them. Always aim for the head. Right. And that's when I saw it. A goddamn steamboat. Steamboat. A steamboat in a swamp? Yeah, Steve, but this wasn't much more than a wreck, really. But how'd a damn steamboat end up in the swamps? Yes, it floated off during the flood of 89. Now, was it a stern wheeler or, or a side wheeler? What, what? Does that really make a difference, Steve? It was a steamboat with a goddamn army on board. It was a what on board? It was in that a fusillade of bullets come raining down from all high. And those vigilantes who accompanied me weren't anywhere to be found. But among those men that were shooting at me, I thought I saw some familiar faces. What? Dude's got down like straps his chest. Somewhere up there the dolphins were waiting on me. I cannot wait. <laughs> Look at his nearby. Yeah. What's over here? Where is it then? Inside? It's gotta be right. Can I get inside? Sounds like you don't give up too easy. That's the kind of man I am. I set out to do something. I do it. Surrender just ain't in my nature. Plus, I'm stubborn. Telescope for some reason. Uh, what's in here? For some reason here is it? Seriously, there's a nugget in here somewhere. If I can't find him, I'm not gonna dwell on it. Oh, Jesus. I didn't see anyone. I was checking before I went. I thought I could make it. Mm, the gold. I got that these dudes. Right. Let's try and do this a bit more sensibly. So where was the other dudes then? Oh there! Oh my god. Apparently I wasn't checking hard enough. I'm an idiot! What I will do? Let's check this thing. So we've got quick fingers. Reload rate increased by smashing handle your bullets with care. Right. Steady aim. So that, that's the shotgun. I haven't got a shotgun on us, so I want to do this one. Legendary weapon unlocked. <laughs> nice. I've got the engraved ranger. Sweet. That would do nicely. It's like two for the price of one, though. Right. 
Alright, so... I really want to try and find that nugget, but... I've really don't have a clue where it is. Up here? Right about then, much to my relief, oh. <laughs> the vigilantes finally arrived. Their leader motioned at a cabin in the middle of the top deck, pointing me directly at the Daltons. I finally had them, after months of dogged pursuit. But it turned out that they had me. Oh, dang it. I'm sending you to hell. So why would you trust vigilantes? Seriously. The Daltons had played me like a fiddle. Apparently oh the vigilantes were on their damn payroll. They didn't just want to shoot me. They wanted to burn me alive. Yep, well they're succeeding. But finding my way out of a burning labyrinth proved to be quite a challenge. It was a riverboat, right? I mean, it's not like it was a goddamn ocean liner. Oh yeah, but I was in Did a fight. Did you hear about that ship that's gonna launch next year? Launches one in the world. Um, we're well, talking about the Titanic. If you ask me, it's too blessed to I don't think it'll be slow. So anyway... Don't be stupid, Steve. They know what they're doing. They say that the Titanic is unsinkable. Oh, God. But getting back to that steamboat, how did you get off it, Mr. Breeze? I took in a lot of smoke that day, so I admit my recollection might be a bit hazy. But somehow, I managed to finally disembark. It was time to settle this once oh, and yes. for all. With a gathering, I thought it was a telescope. <laughs> we called it a telescope, didn't we? It was a gathering gun. I feel like an idiot. It's over easy. Getting shot from somewhere and I don't know where. I couldn't see him. Seriously, could not see the dude. Who's that? Who's that? Bunch of dudes over here. Jesus. I'm getting shot at him. Up there? Oh my god. Oh Christ. This gun is actually quite fun to use. Would be a lot better if there were less enemies though. Trying to shoot Bob and Grad weren't about to come at me one at a time. They were in this together. Two brothers side by side determined to take me Wait. down. Confident that this time the odds were on their side. I need to focus in. This is going to take literally forever right now. <laughs> I've got to shoot both of them? That's insane. I'm going to aim for this dude if I can first. I haven't got one of them. I was pretty sure you can like dodge the bullets. I tried to, I think I managed to. I'm not sure. Just trying to get the speed up a bit more and focus up. Might give us a bit of an advantage. I'm literally spamming the A and D for the oh, thing. Oh. 
They got it wrong. A sad end for those two. If they'd only known that Emmett was still alive despite his wounds. Paroled 14 years later, he moved to California and sold real estate and lived off the legend of that fateful day. And the tragic death of his two brothers. So Emmett lived with 23 bullet holes in his in him. And we managed to kill the Dawn brothers. I don't know how we did that. That was insane. I literally just... That was luck. That was not me really paying much attention to anything. My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well. I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but me and my older brothers were bigger and heavier. They were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me. Until I heard he was riding with the wild bunch. A little inside story there. That was pretty, pretty decent. <laughs> Not gonna lie. 